Hi guys, it's Hillary here in my studio in LA and today's mat is one um, kind of a little bit of a taste of what I did, a little changed up from our free live class for those that get that with their membership. But it's a little bit of Kathy Grant. Um, we're gonna use a few things to focus on through the whole workout and just kind of go with it. So all you need is a mat, you don't need any props. And I want you to just sit however you're comfortable. You can sit with your legs crossed, you can sit with your legs on. I forgot that I had one slipper on, <laughs> not the other. Okay, so as you know, I don't edit bloopers. It's just where we are today. So I want you to kind of just sit and I'm showing you from the side so that you can kind of see and I want you to just feel where you are in space. So for those that haven't worked with me or with a heritage um, training graduate, um, Kathy Grant and Kara, I think this is more Kara Reeser, um, had like bands, Kathy did bands, colored bands, um, there's containers. I like the container stack, so we're gonna go with that. So if you think of your body like a stack of containers, you have a head container, a shoulder container, a rib cage container, hip container, and our legs are just these long cylinders that they sit on. So we're gonna be more concerned today with all the containers above our legs. So I know for me when I tend to sit, I tend to have my ribs kind of here and I'm a little bit back here. Some people might be like this. So what I want you to think about, we'll go with this one first, is we're gonna think about our stacked containers. So we're gonna bring our rib cage container more over our hip container and our shoulder container then has to get over the rib cage container and then your head container over the shoulders. So maybe your ribs are out and you just need to bring them back so just kind of play. There's no right or wrong here. It's just the best that you can get them stacked. And we're gonna cue this in different orientations to gravity today. So I want you to just stay with your container stacked and you're nice and long and tall and be comfortable. And then we're gonna focus on our breath and we're gonna go into our rib cage breathing. So if you wanna wrap your hands around your ribs, if you wanna have your hands like this, whatever works for you. And we don't want the containers to change. So you're just going to inhale, and I want you to think, it's ribcage accordion breathing from Kathy Grant. Think your ribs, the effort is this inhale, having the ribs expand out to the side. And then as you exhale, you're just releasing that air and bringing it back to the ribcage being back where it belongs. So again, it's just an inhale and an exhale. And do that again, inhale. And exhale. Keeping those containers stacked. One more deep breath. And exhale. Good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is just lie on our backs. And I want you to have your knees bent, feet flat, arms at your sides. So the next thing we're learning is our piston legs. And what I want you to do first is just keep all your containers where they are. So don't let the rib cage container be higher than the hip container or the shoulder container or the shoulder container be higher than anything else. Find that position for you. And really stand into your left foot. And I want you to just take your right foot off, really press into the left so your containers not only stay stacked, but they don't tip or rotate. And you're just gonna pull that knee towards you where your containers stay as they are. And then you're gonna bring it, these are called piston legs. As you unweight to switch legs, push into the foot that just hit the floor so that you don't feel the weight shift in that hip container as you alternate these legs. And you're just bringing the knee in to where the hips stay nothing's changing here. Really firing into both arms, firing into the foot that's on the floor, going just where you can. Kind of pay attention to what you have to do to keep all your containers where they need to be. There's no answer, it's, it's your answer. And now what I want you to do is you're gonna take that right knee, you're gonna pull it in, 
keep pulling it in. Keep pulling it in to where you feel like you're gonna kind of lift your hips off the mat. You curl them in so much. Maybe you're even getting a stretch in that leg that's on your mat. Really pull it in. And then we're gonna release it back down, same way. Keeping everything as it is as you switch. And then you're going past the point we did earlier to pull it in as much as you can. But here's the deal. Don't let your shoulder or head container change. Keep them where they are. The hip container is changing. The rib container is changing because it's going back a bit. But don't let that head or neck container, head, bleh, head or shoulder container. Woo, it's almost like it's Monday, but it's not. Keep pulling it in, looking towards the sky. I tend to have my chin, my head container tends to not want to stay where it is. One more here. And maybe getting that stretch, right? And bring it all the way down. All right, so lengthen your legs. And we're gonna get kind of into this as we work. So we're gonna start with our lift, which is prepped for our 100, right? We're just gonna see where we are. So let's bring the arms, reach behind, reach your legs long, and let's bring the arms up. And I want you to take your head container, like you're trying to take it through your arms, lift your shoulder container up, and press the rib cage container and hip container even more into your mat. Try to lift the shoulder and head container even more, and then all the way back down. Take in that deep breath and do that again. Arms come up, head container forward, shoulder container. Keep curling the head and shoulder container, but push into the rib cage container and hips. Do you feel that? Oof, and back up. Now let's do that and see if we can reach the leg container so far that maybe that leg container, maybe, just maybe, it floats off the mat just a bit, maybe an inch and back down. And see what you need to do to your low containers, the hip and the rib cage container, to get that to happen. And see how far and how long do you have to make that leg container to make that happen. And then back down. All right, we're going into our 100. Take those legs wherever you need them to be. Again, ribs, hip container down, inhale. Inhale. Just listen to my breathing. In. Inhale. In. Halfway in. Three more in. In. One more in. And a lengthen it all down. Ooh. All right. If you have a strap, I want you to grab your strap. Of course, I'm at the wrong end here. So I'll grab our little cheat sheet for our Kathy Grant. And we'll come here. I always like to have a little cheat sheet in case I decide to change it up as we're moving. Usually I can see my class, but now we can't. So if you have a strap, use it. If not, don't worry about it. Just keep the legs reaching. Keep them heavy like you did in your roll, your 100 when you were lengthening. So let's think of all those containers. Reach it here. We're taking it a little further than our 100, right? So the head container comes up. Shoulder container, rib cage container, hip container. Keep going, keep going. The hip container is going to change a little bit as we reach forward. And then we're going to go back with the hip container going first. Think about the hip container first. Everything else is following that hip container. And then the rib cage will come down, the shoulders will come down, the head. Take a breath and just find a piece that works for you. Maybe do a few slow. See if you can think about all of this movement in those containers as we go through. And then the hips really leading you back. And then keep breathing through. And once you have it, you can pick up that pace. Just do two more, your pace. 
breathing through the whole way. You guys are doing good. Keep pulling in that strap if you have it. I lost count. Let's do one more. It just feels so good. Feeling each time that you're getting more and more connected with all of those containers. And then all the way back. Good. And then if you have that band, unhook. And we're going to go into our rollover. So arms at your side. Keep the shoulder container there as we lift those legs all right so again let's think of those containers our hip container has to come up first then our rib cage and we're going to be on our shoulders and our head container are we ready we're going to circle those legs hips up reach and then open and think about it rib cage container coming down keep your shoulder container nice and firmly planted bring the legs together up and over again opening nice keep breathing through Keep reaching the legs. Do one more here. Try as best you can to think about where the containers are in space to each other. Switch the direction. Hip container up, then the rib cage container. Oof. Keep those legs reaching the whole time. Looking up towards the sky. And one more, breathing through the whole movement. Just going where you can go. Explore where that is today. Nice. And then let's bring those legs down. We're going to go into our one leg circle. If you have a strap and you want to use it, go for it. And let's reach that leg up. All right. So this one, we can have our containers tip a little bit. So we're going to have that hip container tip. Everything else is going to stay for a moment. Let the hip container reach the leg across. Maybe that rib cage container can come off, but let's keep the shoulder and head container down. Circle and around. You can flex, you can point. Let the hip lift to take that leg, reaching it across. Oof. I'm getting a little crickly crackly's going on in that tight back today. Reach. The leg that's on your mat, that container is standing tall. Let's do one more here, reach across. And then we're going to reverse. So keep everything on the mat and then that hip container lifts and bring it across. Inhale. And just find a pace again that works for you. Let's do two more here. Oof, one more. Good. And we'll switch. So if you have that strap, use it. If not, ground that leg. Different side here, folks. So do what you can do. We're going to lift the opposite now from the first one we did. Circling. You may find a little different range. And that's okay. Inhale. Keep those shoulder container, head container. Now reverse. Hip lifts, rib cage comes first, then the hip. Think hips first thing off, last thing back. One more. Good. And then go ahead, lengthen both legs. Let's roll up for rolling back. So find your ball. Roll up, pull your knees in, just pull them in. And just find where you are. Find your ball here. I want you to think about your containers. I want you to visualize your hip container is gonna go first, head will be the last. So hip container, back, then ribs, then shoulders. Head, shoulders, up. Hips back, head up. Woo, a little too much there. And again, just finding what works for you here. Rolling. So sometimes we want to take our shoulders back first. So that's what I mean. Just think of the hips first. Roll. Yeah. And then head first. Yes. One more here. Good. Now think back to the piston lights. Grab your right. Pull it in as tight as you can. Roll back. We'll go into our one leg stretch. 
So pull it in and switch. Good. Think about that hip container staying even. Not hiking, not rotating, doing what you need to do. Keep breathing through. Good. And one more, each leg. And then bring both knees in. Stay there, pull them in tight. And then reach your arms, leg, reach for that double leg stretch and pull back in. Inhale, reach and back in. Ooh, my right leg is super tight. It does not want to straighten today. Inhale and one more. And down. Whew. Go ahead, lengthen your legs. And we'll roll it all the way up. Think the same roll up you just did. And let's go into our spine stretch. So this is a really hard one for us to visualize our containers. So let's just go back to the very beginning when we stacked our containers to warm up. Sit tall, find all your containers, see where they are. Might be in a better spot than when we started. And I want you to really push into your mat to grow tall. And this is what I want you to think about. I want you to think that your hip container is shooting this way as your head container is. And then everything else will start to come with it. So think first, head and hip container going forward. And then think about the rib cage and shoulder container going towards that back wall as the head and hip container go even more forward. And then you're gonna bring it back Shoulders, rib cage, head with the hips. Let's try that again. Think head and hips first. Then you go into the rib cage and the shoulders going back. But the head and the hips are still going forward. And then bringing it back from the middle, stacking them all back up. And then just find a pace that works for you. Inhaling as you grow tall, but exhaling as you go into that spine stretch. Bring it back up. Good, and let's just do one more here. Finding it for you. Whoop, almost forgot my hip container. And then all the way back. Okay. So we're gonna go into our open leg rocker. So just think that you're rolling back, same thing. Arms out, you can bend your knees, you can bring them up with straight legs, whatever feels good, reach. Bring those legs fine as I lose my sock. Find your open leg rocker, I'm gonna try to keep this right leg as straight as I can. So here we go again, but now our lever is longer. So let's think about that. Hip container first, then ribs, then shoulder. Head container up. Oof, almost. Oh, yes, I do. I always want to overshoot that one, don't I? So again, hip container. You got it. Again. One more if we can. And down. All right. So here comes the hard one corkscrew. Let's roll it down. Arms at your side and let's take both legs up towards the sky. All right. So this is a challenging one for our containers to move in the way we want them to move. We don't want them to hike up or get lost in this way or get lost this way. So let's keep our head and shoulder container firmly on our mat the whole time. Think back to your one leg circle. You're gonna to go to the right. Lift your left hip, that left side of your container up. So now you're on the right side of that container, all that weight. Lower the legs where you can without anything changing. And then as you circle, bring both containers firmly back to your mat. Now lift the right side of that container up. The rib cage, maybe it comes up depending on where you go. Now bring your rib cage container back, then your hip container. Ooh, let's do it one more time slow. 
tilt so that the right side of that container lifts of the hip, maybe the right side of that rib container also comes up. Go down, the hip and rib will connect again. Now the left side of the container and the left rib cage comes up, maybe, but the shoulders stay down. Now pull back to the left side of that rib cage and then the hip. Whew. I don't know about you, that's a lot of work. So now, how can you move, what pace, can you keep that action happening? And back. Good. Keep thinking about the head container, shoulder container, staying down, reaching where you can. Nice. And let's do one more. If you're doing these right, oh my gosh, right? Killer. Good. And then lengthen the legs all the way down. Reach the arms back. We're going to roll all the way up. And we're going to go into our saw. So reach those arms. Here we are. All our containers are stacked again, right? Think about that breathing. You're going to inhale as you twist to the right, wherever that is for you. Now, go back to your spine stretch. Head and hip container are going to go forward as the rib cage, as the shoulder container, try to go back. Reach both arms in opposite direction. And then bringing it all back, stacking up back to the center. And to the other side, reach those arms. Same thing, head and, head and hip. Whew. And reach the arm like someone's pulling you in two directions. I had one of my teachers tell me once, you've got a toddler behind you and they're pulling your arm. They're trying to pull it out of the socket. Reach that arm. There's energy in the legs, both arms. Let's do one more here. Reach. And then back up tall. Okay. So we're going to go into our thigh stretch kneeling. We're skipping our prone lift and our kicks. So I wanna go into the kneeling here. So if you feel like your feet cramp up, you can kind of get them off your mat. And I'm gonna face you, because they want you to, to kind of pay attention to our containers in this respect here, and this respect here. So, your shoelaces are on your floor, arms straight out. And I want you to have a slight tilt, like when we pulled those legs one at a time in, in the beginning with our pistons. Arms out, and you're just gonna hinge back at that knee where you feel a stretch through your quad, hip flexor, wherever it is for you, and press back up. And just think you're keeping everything even in rotation of our containers as best as you can. And it really just depends on what's going on in the body today. Inhaling and exhaling up. Yeah, and just do two more here. One more. Good, and rest. Come back to your mat. And now we're gonna go into our shoulder bridge. So your feet are hip width apart, arms at your sides. So what I want you to think about is back to that first thing we did with our pistons, because I want that feeling of that leg on the floor getting that same stretch we did. Your feet can be as close as you want to your glutes, arms at your sides, all your containers on your mat. So what you wanna do first, we're gonna lift all our containers Keep our shoulder container, head container down. Push into your feet and just lift the hips and ribs up towards the sky. And I want you to open up the shoulder container. See if you can push the hip container even higher. And then from here, see, can you leave your hip container there and start lowering whatever shoulder container is kind of up a little bit of it. And then the rib cage. Keep going down that rib cage container. Keep trying to keep the hips lifted as long as you can all the way down and do that again press them up 
press your shoulder container more, see if you can lift those hips. And then try to keep them lifted. Think you're trying to take the hips in that direction as you roll back down. Breathing through, keep that shoulder container on your mat. Don't let it get lost. We're just sticking with this today, no kicks. We didn't prepare for them. And then reach it up, not really. And then again, down we go. Keep reaching. I'm super tight, so I'm just doing what I can do here. Hopefully by the end, we'll be much happier bodies. And then reach those legs long. And let's roll it all the way up. Remember, head, shoulders, reaching. And we're gonna go into our spine twist. So let's keep the legs long, nice and tall here. Think of your containers. We're gonna keep them stacked the whole time, okay? Twist towards the left. Keep twisting where you can. Maybe a little further, but grow tall and keep your containers. Inhaling back. I'm sorry, exhaling. Whew. Batting a thousand today, inhaling. Good. Now this is one you wanna really pay attention to that hip container because your hip container is one again that is gonna wanna get lost. So your leg containers can be a little clue here. That leg you're rotating towards, if it shortens up, that hip container moved. Push it forward and then back to the center. One more each direction. Back to the center. Last one. Reach, 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 reach. And center. Go ahead, reach, give it a little stretch. And we're doing good on time, guys. Roll it down. We can get our jackknife in for the day. So think back to our rollover. But now, we really want to control our containers. So let's go into the rollover again. Hips lift. Now jackknife up on that shoulder container. And here we go. Try to keep reaching the leg container. Keep reaching it as you come all the way down. Go where you can go without losing your containers down there. Reach and lift. Whew. Those that are doing privates with me this month have been working a lot on the containers. And I think if you kind of think about it, it really helps you figure out where in space you are and where you need to kind of work a little bit that day. Good, and bring it all the way down. And let's turn onto our side. We're gonna do some side kicks here. So go ahead, lie on your side, hands behind your head, and your legs are just slightly forward of you. So here's the thing with this one. We're gonna keep our stacked containers, but they are gonna move together a bit. So take that leg up, and we're gonna kick forward as far as we can and back, but our containers are counterbalancing each other. So as we kick far back as we can, our shoulder and head container are helping in that counter rotation. So yes, we're working, but it's helped keeping our stabilization there on that bottom side. Inhale, here's our thigh stretch again. Reaching, okay, just going, pushing the head into the hands where you can move, but that bottom leg's like your kickstand, I like to say, it's just, it's there, it's not gonna move. One more here. And rest. Flip, turn, whatever you need to do, we'll do the other side. So again, your hands behind your head, feet slightly forward, eh, tighter slide, lengthen, and forward. So again, kind of figure out how to do your full range, keeping that bottom leg really grounded. So use the head, use the hands. Good, two more here. turn over onto our backs. So we're going to go into our teaser. 
And we're again going to think of our lovely containers here. Oh, so our legs container is going to come with us, right? So here we go. Head, shoulders, let the leg lengthen. Coming up, reaching. Find your teaser. Now from here, I want you to think about it. Hip container back, legs start to reach away. Rib cage container, then shoulders and head. You don't have to go that slow. Find your teaser, wherever that is for you. Try to reach, I need to really think about my legs being as straight as I can get them today, because that seems to be what I need. It seems to be getting better though, yeah? Just say yes, yes it is. <laughs> Feels like it to me inside. Good, and down. Do we have one more in this? If not, grab some water. Take a break. Well, let's try, reach, 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 reach. And then all the way. Whew. All right, let's go ahead, roll yourself up. All right, so we're gonna go into our kneeling side kicks. You're like, yay. All right, so here's what I wanna do. I wanna try to keep our leg container, that's our kneeling leg, under our hip container, and that's what I wanna try to focus on, yeah? All right, so hands behind your head. We're gonna take one hand to the mat, lengthen the other leg. So see where this leg is and see if you need to move it. Yeah, hands behind your head, reaching up. Can you hold that? And now kick forward and back. So try to think this container, staying under that hip container. <sighs> Reach out that arm. It's gonna change your range because I can go here and go really, yeah. See the difference? I'm doing the best I can. That's what we need. And bring it up. Whew. And switch to the other side. Same thing. There we go. Got it? I'm waiting. Here we go. This is my tighter side, so we'll just go where I can go. You'll see I start to drift. Leg maybe doesn't come up as high. Just do what you can do. Keep pressing the head into the hands. Ooh. Good. One more. You got it. Bring it up. All right, so we're going to end today with push-ups, but we're not going to go into our walking push-ups because I want to really focus on now we've done all these different things with our containers being stacked, different orientations, so now we're at the least amount of support in the whole work. Can we find our containers and keep them there? So let's just see. Have your hands slightly forward of your shoulders. Make sure I'm on my mat. And just find your push-up position, whatever that is. So see how my hip container's up? I wanna to try to bring my hip container down. And I'm kind of maybe sinking in the back. So maybe I need to take my hip container even more forward, pressing out of my arms. So where's your head container? Is it up? Find where you can be and just hold. Keep your elbows in close. See if you can just lower your containers together and push the floor away. Lower, try to keep those containers. You might lose your rib cage container, hip container, head container is very common. Just do what you can do. You only have one set, so go for it. When you feel it getting lost, bring your knees down, sit back. Nice job, bring it up. Cross those legs, breathe. All right, just circle those shoulders. And kind of see, close your eyes and let's kind of go back to the beginning and see if you can get your shoulder container, head container, everything where it feels stacked to and once again, go back to that accordion breathing of Kathy Grant, inhaling out to the side. Exhaling. And inhaling. And exhale. And one more here. Give 
good job. All right, so try to carry that into your work, thinking about where your containers are, keep that breath going, and the little piston legs finding that curl, right? You guys did great. I'll see you next time.